Now, the new CEO has done some interviews with other EV car companies, CEOs, and other ex bosses of some of the biggest companies in the world or car companies in the world, right? I mean, you will know that NEO has had not only one or two interviews with uh, or sessions with uh, the ex boss of VW, Mr. Herbert, but they, during the Shanghai Auto Show, they had the ET9 talks inside the new ET9, which is something that obviously, once again, the message is clear, and that is NEO is a company that is really up there and it's bringing some massive competition, changing the game for China uh, completely, right? I mean, uh, uh, the reason why I'm taking you to Mr. Herbert, there is another a Mercedes ex boss who apparently is seen on the screen, he was seen entering the Neo ET9. He's a former Delma CEO, which is called Mercedes Benz Group today, right? I mean, he went in, or oh, that is the picture. Um, I think it was posted, posted by Marcel on X, which, yeah, it's a, it's once again shows you the kind of an attention grabber the Neo, Neo EC as a whole, or the Neo ET9 as a model, it's grabbing out there, which is something that is very, very good. I mean, with this, you and me can agree that we cannot, Neo is a company that will forever do very well. It is for that reason that the Ford CEO, the video that I covered over the weekend, where we're talking about the Ford CEO coming and saying, look guys, China is very far ahead. And to check how far ahead China is, Ford is going to import some of their cars from China to the US and they assemble them just to try to understand how far China is at because the competition um, in terms of uh, uh, cars or new energy vehicle cars in China, it's on the next level. I mean, the Ford CEO said they are relying on China for strong magnets that has to go to your models and models that is your main models for the car that is the models for for your wipers models for your door models for your seat and all that they are depending heavily on china which speaks volumes of where china is at so i'm not surprised seeing of course ex mercedes boss coming in the neo et9 because this flagship model that is found under neo has done something or demonstrates the five-star capabilities and goes beyond uh, what we see from the uh, ultra high or the upper uh, high-end uh, car companies like your Mercedes, like your BMW, like your Audi, like your Lexus, even your Porsche. I mean, the active suspension onto this car, you will know that uh, it was made by Clear Motion or a company called Clear Motion. And right now, Clear Motion and Porsche, I think uh, they are currently probably in talks with Porsche, or Porsche is currently in talks with Clear Motion to get the type or the kind of active suspension that they saw it first on the Neo ET9, which is something that is great. And it shows you that this, what Neo is doing, it is becoming a standard for the high end, um, even brands like your Mercedes, BMW. Many Mercedes, you will know that they are launching also step by wire which is another technology that we saw it being successfully deployed on mass production coming from obviously the neo et9 which this again it's something that shows you uh, that neo it's on another level neo it's on the next level and those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time i mean one thing that i'm liking about this whole situation is that look this picture alone explains a lot because I know that this ex-boss of Mercedes knew about the Neo 89, what it can do, and he just had to, to come and experience it and really see uh, what it's all about and try to confirm what people say about this car. And can I tell you something? I mean, uh, Mr. Herbert, the ex-boss of Volkswagen, has given a green light, so much so that he says, the new CEO should consider taking the car to Europe because it will obviously make the Europe market of that kind of a segment, your Mercedes, your BMW, to really also pull up their socks in terms of technology, in terms of compatibility, in terms of premium, which is something that is good, is something that we look forward to. So, my dear friends, me, I'm happy. Me, I'm excited. And these are the good news that we are we are seeing today and 
I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to see more and more people wanting to experience this car. By the way, you will know that there is the ES9 coming, a flagship SUV. It will be a flagship model uh, for the entire Neo. It will be the most expensive car that you can buy on a day-to-day. -day. I'm not talking about the EP9, I'm not talking about concept cars. It will be the car that you will be able to buy, same like the ET9. And knowing that it's coming next year, best better watch out now because that technology that you see on the new ET9 is going to be uh, duplicated or replicated on the ES9 and we are going to see ES9 probably even coming with more features because I don't think they will just end it there where the two cars have got the same features but they will take features or some features will be on the next level on the ES9 and I'm telling you man we just have to brace ourselves for what's coming it's only the beginning which is why I continue saying blue sky is coming long term will win and those persevering will be rewarded with time because I know I know that bears will not have the final say on to Neo. I know that the short sellers will not have the final say on to Neo, which is why I remain long, I remain strong on to Neo because I know one thing and that is blue sky is coming. Tell me man what you think about this. I I am quite excited today. I have done a quite number of videos today. I mean, uh, we have, or uh, I mean, we have officially opened the membership channel under this channel where we'll be dropping exclusive content. So yeah, if you've been on this channel or if you like the content on this channel, I will really uh, ask you guys to go and also subscribe on the membership channel. It's just that there, of course, there's a small fee that you pay on a monthly basis to get the content. I think it's around the the. the the starter package is like two dollars and ninety nine cents, which, um, yeah, it's it's just going to make it more fun and interesting. We'll get to know each other better. There will be live streams, there will be exclusive content. I'll also be showing some of the transactions that I'm making, and we'll go through them as to why I'm bullish. I'll show you my my progress in terms of how far I am with my average share price because. Many of you that have been watching the videos I've been doing recently, I've been telling you that, look, by end of Q3, I want to see myself at a single digit in terms of, of owning NEO. And I will be sharing that uh, kind of a content showing you the progress of where I'm at, which is something that obviously it's good. And I, I, I cannot wait, man. The, the content starts this week and we will see where it takes us, right? See you on the next one. Blue sky is coming long term will win those persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time like share subscribe hit that notification bell i'll see you on the next one and god bless you all